We have evolved, but it seems to me that our ideas of gender have not evolved. Some weeks ago, I walked into the lobby of one of the best Nigerian hotels. I thought about naming the hotel, but I thought I probably shouldn't. And a guard at the entrance stopped me and asked me annoying questions. Because the automatic assumption is that a Nigerian female walking into a hotel alone is a sex worker. And by the way, why do these hotels focus on the ostensible supply rather than the demand for sex workers? In Lagos, I cannot go alone into many reputable bars and clubs. They just don't let you in if you're a woman alone. You have to be accompanied by a man. Each time I walk into a Nigerian restaurant with a man, the waiter greets the man and ignores me. The waiters are products. <laughs> are there some women who are like, yes, I thought that. The waiters are products of a society that has taught them that men are more important than women. And I know the waiters don't intend any harm, but it is one thing to know intellectually and quite another to feel it emotionally. Each time they ignore me, I feel invisible. I feel upset. I want to tell them that I am just as human as the man, that I am just as worthy of acknowledgement. These are little things, but sometimes it's the little things that sting the most. Now, not long ago, I wrote an article about what it means to be young and female in Lagos, and an acquaintance told me it was so angry. Of course it was angry. <laughs> I am angry. Gender as it functions today is a grave injustice. We should all be angry. Anger has a long history of bringing about positive change. But in addition to being angry, I'm also hopeful because I believe deeply in the ability of human beings to make and remake themselves for the better. Gender matters everywhere in the world, but I want to focus on Nigeria and on Africa in general because it is where I know and because it is where my heart is. And I would like today to ask that we begin to dream about and plan for a different world, a fairer world. A world of happier men and happier women who are truer to themselves. And this is how to start. We must raise our daughters differently. We must also raise our sons differently. <laughs>